Welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the Screen Rant pitch meeting for Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead men tell no tales. Also known as Pirates 5. Pirates 5, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 5, yeah, that was the last yeah, one. Uh, yeah, Black Pearl. Uh, yeah, anyways, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to count for me any. <laughs> yeah, Basically, you know. this one did what we kind of wanted, which was, hey... Jack Sparrow shouldn't be a side character in a story. He should probably be one of the main characters. And they more or less do that. Yeah, they do that, but it still doesn't really... I know, it doesn't fix things, and that's why people are still... Because they kind of they kind of, they kind of made the main character, but at the same time, they kind of went back to the first Pirates, where it's like, let's bring in a new kind of fresh face, you know, love interest type of situation, where it's just like, now you guys are just rinsing, rinsing and repeating right now at this point. Hey, but hey, at, le at least some of your favorites return for like 20 seconds. Yeah, I know. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so let's just dive into this. Let's see what possibly went down in, the, in this in, in Pirates of the Caribbean, T Dead Men Tell No Tales pitch meeting. So here we go. Oh, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. What if we did a Pirates of the Caribbean sequel? Oh, I feel like we've had this conversation before. We have, sir, and we're going to keep having this conversation so long as it keeps making us money. Oh, I like the way you money. <laughs> so what happens? I like the way you money. I feel like you already know. I feel like I do, but can you elaborate? Yeah, no, it doesn't necessarily feel relevant, sir. You know, Jack Sparrow, an antagonist with an undead crew, a young couple falling in love, some vaguely magical and nautical things. Oh, that does sound like a pirate movie. Can you elaborate more? Uh, no. Yeah, okay. Amazing. So in this one, we're going to start with Elizabeth Swan and Will Turner's son, this kid named Henry. They're from the other movies. They sure are, sir. And so Henry manages to find that flying Dutchman ship that Will is on, you know, with the curse. Right. And so Henry's like, Dad, I figured out how to break your curse. We need to get Poseidon's trident. And Will is like, quiet, the crew's going to hear you. Isn't he the captain? Why is he worried about them hearing? Well, I'm told that scenes need tension, so I'm kind of fabricating some here. Oh, okay, very smart. So anyway, Will is like, yeah. Yeah, no, it's impossible to find the trident by now, but nine years later, Henry's still looking for it. Oh, uh, motivated offspring is tight. Yeah, eventually... That sounds wrong. Ghost Salazar's gonna kill his entire crew, but he's gonna leave Henry alive. Why? Well, he's like, I want you to tell Jack Sparrow that I'm gonna kill him one day. And he can't tell him that himself? No, because this curse is keeping him in that general area. And also, he's like, dead men tell no tales. Oh. Which is gonna be the name of the movie. He said the name of the movie. He did. <laughs> Amazing. So why does the Salazar guy want to kill Jack anyway? Oh, well, see, Salazar was a pirate hunter, but then young Jack did a tricky move that led him to crashing into a cursed triangle thing and becoming a ghost along with his crew. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, and then Jack <laughs> became captain of the Black Pearl, and his crew gave him a bunch of costume elements, like his hair beat. Well, that's how he got the hair beat. That's really yeah, it's what it's it is. You know, I've been know. enjoying these movies, but the whole time I've been like, how the heck did he get those freaking <laughs> okay. hair? Well, we're finally answering that, sir. And also, we're going to reveal how we got the name Jack Sparrow. How did that happen? Well, see, when Salazar saw Jack, he said he thought he looked like a little sparrow. So that's where that came from. Salazar said that to his crew before they all died? How did word of that even spread? Unclear. And so how are we going to learn all this stuff anyway? Oh, well, Salazar is going to be telling the story to Barbosa. I thought you said dead men tell no tales. You just said that. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Whoopsie. Anyway, Whoopsie. This is girl Karina, right? Okay. And she, she has a diary from her long lost father, and that is, it's also a map. And you need the map to find the to explain your Mars. Where Poseidon is supposed to be. Sure. But sure. You can only you got you can only see uh, coming up within the last minute second. Moon. <laughs> moon, right? And you need a jewel too. A, a red jewel. Are you just coming up with this stuff right now? Right. Yeah, of course I am, hundred percent. But now they have some things they need to gather throughout the movie, and that's gonna fill up the runtime quite a bit. That works for me. Oh, and also Jack is gonna trade that magical compass of his for a drink, and the betrayal of the compass is free Salazar and his crew from the Devil's Triangle. Hasn't Jack given away his compass before in this franchise? Yeah, but this time he did it with different intentions or something, so now the movie can happen. Oh, so now the movie can Jack happen. Jack and Karina and Henry are all gonna meet, and they're gonna team up, because they want to fight this trident before Salazar kills Jack. Well, pretty wacky coincidence that Jack did the thing that releases Salazar just before meeting Henry, who just met Salazar, who told him to tell Jack that he would kill him. Extremely coincidence! 
Simpsons. What is the I right? think I'm just not. Possibly slim, I imagine. Probably. So anyway, Salazar is going to get Barbosa to help him track down Jack because he's from the other movie. He's from the other movie. He sure is, sir. But eventually, Barbosa is going to betray Salazar because double crosses are things that people have come to expect from pirates' films. So we got him in here. Very true. And now they don't have a ship, so that's kind of a problem. So what do they do? Well, in the last movie, we revealed that the Black Pearl is now tiny and inside a bottle. And so Jack had that in his jacket, and they just make that big again with magic or something. Jack has a glass bottle in his jacket the entire time. Doesn't he fall constantly? How does that thing not yeah. break? I don't, probably magic again. It doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't, no. And so eventually, Barbosa's <laughs> gonna figure out that Karina is his daughter. Oh. Okay. So, okay. you know, that's going to be an awesome big reveal. Is it, though? I'm not sure that yeah. that's entirely earned. I don't think you need to earn moments like that. They get away with that stuff all the time in, you know, soap operas. That's a good point. So they do. They do. Out that the trident is off this magical island, and the ocean is going to split it to two towards it. Oh, and I guess Salazar's on their tail, huh? He is. But the thing about Salazar's curse is that he can't walk on land, so he has to possess Henry, which is a thing he's able to do that I'm just mentioning now for the first time. Oh, very cool. But one guy's like, sir, if you go on land while possessing someone, you're going to be stuck on land forever. And Salazar's like, yes, but the trident can help with that. Okay, and how does everybody know all these very specific curse rules? I know, um, right? When you get cursed, it comes with an instruction manual. That makes <laughs> sense. So then there's going to be this big old fight at the bottom of the ocean, and Henry and Karina are going to solve a little riddle, because curses often involve riddles. They sure do. So what do they figure out? So they realize that the trident contains all curses, so they have to destroy it. Wow, so it must be difficult to break the trident of Poseidon out of the sea. Actually, it's gonna be it's super easy. easy. Barely inconvenient. Oh, really? Yeah, see, they hit it and it breaks. Huh? That's it. I love that. They hit it. You hit it, 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 it and it breaks. That's how that works. You'd think that thing might be a bit more solid, but fantastic news know, that right? it's not. So now be that fair. all pieces are broken, the sea's gonna start collapsing onto itself, obviously, and Salazar's men aren't cursed anymore. How's oh, so everybody has to run? They do, and all the good guys are running, and they jump onto an anchor from the Black Pearl and Barbosa's gonna sacrifice himself to save Karina. Right, because she's his daughter is what you seem to have written. Exactly. <laughs> and later <laughs> so he's gonna <laughs> ask her her name and she's gonna be like, Karina Barbosa. Wow, well, you seem really pleased with this, so I guess it'll be in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how does the movie <laughs> end? Well, now that all curses are broken, Will Turner can come back on land. So I guess his ship was above water when the curse ended then? Yeah, I guess it was. And so what happens with the souls of the dead now? Wasn't it kind of Will's job to bring them to the afterlife? Yeah, they're dead anyway, so I feel like it doesn't matter. Wait, wasn't the curse the only thing keeping Will alive? They cut his heart out in the third movie. Look, sir, I'm gonna need you to get all yeah, the way off it's my like back about a lot of curse. He's all better now, okay? Oh, okay, let me get off of that thing. Thanks, and so then Will is reunited with his son and with Elizabeth. You know, now that I think of it, it kind of seems out of character for Elizabeth to not have joined on a big sea adventure to save Will. Yeah, but Kira Knightley costs a lot now, so yeah. at that point, yeah, she should stay on land for sure then. And then in a post credit scene, we're going to have Davy Jones show up, and we're going to see his shadow with the tentacles and stuff. Wasn't his whole appearance Oh, I didn't know there was that. Yeah. yeah, I don't care. Fair enough. And so, yeah, that's about it. What do you that's think? You know, it sounds like I never wrong. saw that. Yeah, I'm yeah that's the sure we need to do that whole teasing the, teasing Davy Jones return. Thing. Like, does everything have to be connected? Does everybody have to be related all the time? Yeah, because that automatically makes it good storytelling. Oh, okay, then let's keep doing it. Yeah, yeah, what are I talking about? Yeah, they repeat hey, everybody, the same Ryan, shit. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was Pirates for it in a my nutshell. My favorite super easy barely can be. It's where he goes, yeah, they just break it. He's breaking. You, have to, you think it would be sure. My, I guess my excuse for that is that I don't think anybody's expect. I don't think Poseidon was expecting anybody to find it. I think that's what it was. It's one of those things. It's like Poseidon was never expecting anybody to find it. And it's like it's been found. It's like, well, that, that sucks balls. It's equivalent of the Harry Potter when he breaks the Elder one. It's like all powerful one. You just go snap. snap. Toss. There we go. We're done. So yeah, I, I, love, I love how it's like. Are you making this up as you go along? Yeah, I love the part where he's explaining how he's our diary explain, works. Yeah, he's trying to explain. It's like he's thinking. It's like you're trying. To, are you just making this up right now? It's like yeah, I'm making this up as I go. Yeah. 
I didn't know there was an after credits. Yeah, I was. never saw it. As of lately, I don't know why. I've been whenever I watch a film, so I just let the credits roll at this point because it's like any movie can do that at this point, and a lot of movies. I mean, even in the Heights, that movie had an after. I did that with um Hall- the twenty eighteen Halloween film. I was like, scroll up, fast forward now, fast forward. Why just let it sit there? It's like I get up, clean up what I have to clean up, let it roll, 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 and it's like ah, okay, that was the whole movie. Okay, that was the whole movie. Marvel movies have cursed us forever. I know, right? Um, it's, they get us to the point where it's like, even this, the most average movie can have an after credit scene. Yeah. But for the most part, I think I enjoyed this one more than um, <laughs> on Stranger Tides. I didn't enjoy this one a bit more, but that's not saying much. That's really not saying much. It, it, it's really not saying much. It's like, again, there's like a lot that you can tell those was like, yeah, there's so many freaking plot holes. That they, 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 you have so many questions about it. So it's like, it's going to be interesting how they handle the new franchise, you know, when they start getting back on that. So other than that, folks, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button if you want to talk to us more about stuff like this. Comment down below if you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about pitch me, you can hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this uh, pitch meeting and what do you guys' thoughts are on the pretty much that last, the pretty much the last Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Did you enjoy it? Did you have fun with it? Or you was just sitting there one of those just shaking your head like, oh God, what did they do? I mean, let us know what you guys' thoughts are. What, you, what was your favorite moment in this pitch meeting? Uh, and also put down what you guys thought of our reaction to this pitch meeting. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And this has been a very Pirates Phil episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.